Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, I'm going to be going over the pairs that you asked me to go over on the YouTube comments. Um, so we're going to take a look at Pound Swiss and we're going to take a look at Gold. First thing first, I just want to cover the trades that we're currently in because I want to manage one of the positions in particular. Um, so Kiwi Dollar is at this swing point through here, at this supporting point, uh, sorry, resistance point. Um, so I want to be looking at potentially taking this off the table. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at doing that now. So I'm just going to right click, uh, click close. We're going to close this order down. Um, and that's just because prices at that, we were over one to one anyway on this. So happy to take um, some profit off the table here at major support on the daily time frame. Um, so I didn't want to sit through to see if it did break to the upside. What I will wait for though is if it does break higher, I'll look for the pullback and continuation move through there. Obviously we set an order on dollar CAD that hasn't come through yet, so nothing to do here. CAD yen very much offside. Looks like we're going to get stopped out on this one, um, but I'm just going to hold it to see how that does play out. Four hour change cycle, four hours looking um, quite bullish to be honest in terms of that there maybe pull back and continue um, to the upside so um, I'm just going to leave that one in see if it can come back to break even pound Oz is doing pretty well um, again looking at about um, 110 pips in profit so far holding this one seeing if it can rally up to our uh, targets so I'm just going to hold that there so for now just managing the Kiwi dollar uh, chart at the moment okay so pound swissy pound swiss how do we uh, break this market down so if we take a look at the weekly time frame and this is very common with a lot of pound pairs at the moment we've seen a lot of bullishness from the pound we can see here bullish reversal potential on the weekly time frame price came down into the that low here we've had a false breakout so if i was looking at this from the weekly perspective i'd say to myself well the market could uh, rally to the upside here and retest these structure highs from a weekly point of view if we go down into the daily time frame we can see that price has broken out of a bit of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So if we look left, we can see that the market um, has broken this structure high through here. Um, we've seen the fact that the uh, neckline is around this area. Let me just change the color of that. So it stands out on the chart. Um, just through there, you can see that we have this left shoulder head right shoulder pattern market pushing to the upside so everything is looking quite bullish here um, on pound swiss so i'm looking for maybe a continuation move just through there okay so looking quite good for a continuation on pound swiss if we go down into the four hour time frame we can see we're making those real nice higher highs higher lows maybe a pullback into there we can then dive into a lower time frame and look for uh, bullish opportunities if price does come back and retest um, but that's looking quite good for some upside just through there you may see the chart refreshing a few times i think um, having a problem just reconnecting to servers here at the moment um, but essentially the market is looking pretty good um, for some upside um, so quite like potential long opportunities just waiting for some pullbacks um, going to gold um, gold is still moving to the upside it's approaching some pretty big um, levels to be honest um, if we just look left let's see if it loads in for us yeah you can see here um, this sort of major swing level up here um, is going to be quite crucial to the price of gold. I think if price does um, rally into sort of that 1900 area, we could see quite a, a decent reversal come from gold. But at the moment, I don't see any reason to short sell it just yet. Um, the only way you'd look at really short in it is if it was to pull back into sort of these previous highs here and you wanted to kind of trade the pullback but at the moment the trend is very much to the upside the only way i'd be involved with this is if the market was to pull back retrace to around about that 1780 and then look for that long position because i'd rather be in favor with the trend at that point again diving down to the four hour if price does get back down into here look for those continuation patterns on the four hour time frame to get long 
Um, that's the only way I really see gold at the moment. The only way that would change my mind is if we were to start seeing lower lows on the daily, and that would come if we broke around about 1750. If that breaks there, then that's the only way I'd look for any kind of short in positions, maybe back down into this key supporting zone through there um, at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Uh, on gold is just a pullback into the previous structure highs to look for those continuation trades once again so i'll leave it there i hope you enjoyed that quick update and if you did please like and subscribe to the youtube channel hope i answered those questions as well and uh, if you have any more comments leave a leave a comment down below cheers